Hello guys, Jack Wilson back with another video of SoilWorks 2022 and in this video I will show you how to design this particular part on the right side of the screen. So first of all this is a very new series of part designing in SoilWorks. So stay tuned for upcoming video. So this is part one for practice for beginner series. So let's get started. So we can see on the right side we have this particular model. And we can see that we need to get around the volume of this particular right here. So this I've used as, as a PDF right here, it says, right? And it looks something like this, all right? So we have a hollow space of one millimeter and then we have a chamfer 16 in overall length and so yeah, I mean, it's not that hard. The final picture should appear something like this, all right? I'm pretty sure we can make it easily. It's not a hard thing to do. So how would I design this? I'm just going to use a front plane. I will go to sketch, all right? I'm just going to make the entire profile first, the entire half of the profile and use revolve. So I will make this profile something like this right here. I could have used chamfer. Yeah, I will just use chamfer. I'm just going to make a straight line. Everything straight, just half of it. All right, half of the profile. Then I'm going to use a chamfer. I know the chamfer is going to be one, one right here angle distance so i know chamfer is going to be right here angle is going to be what 45 no it's going to be 30 in this case just a second double click i'm going to enter 30 and it's going to be one okay one millimeter there we go oh i go back inside the sketch all right i can do the same thing but before that, I'm going to dimension 16 for the overall length. From here till here, I'm going to enter 16. Ooh, there we go. All right. Right here. What I like to do is I'm going to make the base as the construction. So for construction, that helps me to get the full dimension. So what I mean is when I go... When you take dimension, you get the full dimension or the full diameter. So the full diameter it says 4.4, so 4.4 in diameter. Now I can zoom in. I'm just going to bring this closer right here. All right. I can see. All right. So it's fully defined. I'm just missing a back chamfer. I'm going to add the back chamfer as well. Select. So 0.75. All right, right here at the back, 0 0.75, 0 0.75. Go to feature and click revolve. I'm going to say yes, sure, why not? And I'm going to click OK. There we have it, right? It's going to look something like this. But as we know that, that this is hollow from the inside. So we need to make sure that what that hollow thickness is hmm. it says one one as from the side but it doesn't tell us like how much of the diameter internally is hollow you can simply guess it if you want to because it doesn't say it doesn't mean that we cannot assume. So it, basically this 75 is the chamfer itself. All right. It's not just a chamfer. It's the limited chamfer. So we need to, so we know now that, okay, it's not going to close here. So I'm going to make this as construction element. All right. But we have a straight line going through. So these two are going to be construction elements. And then I have 
at 0.75 that's a little bit weird because 0.75 the chamfer is given to us so let me delete this so this distance is given to us from front till here okay this is one all right perfect overall is 4.4 4. 4. looks fine angle so this not this angle but if I take an angle from here to here, this is going to be 30. This way. Perfect. And now I have 0.75. This way. All right. But again, it's not this chamfer both ways. If I delete it, now the line from the distance from the line basically. That is what is given to us. I'm going to exit out and make a straight line. I'm going to trim it right here and till here. All right. And I'm going to dimension it from top to the bottom around 0.75. That's the distance. And then you join this, these two lines right here. I have it. Perfect. And this one, this particular line, or this particular distance. So this is not going to be a simple straight line. We also need something like this, coming all the way till here, and then going down straight. Perfect. So from the top till the bottom, we have already specified the distance. So this chamfer, I'm guessing, is going to be same as the first one. So it's going to be one as well. All right, and similarly 30 degrees as well. There we go. Perfect. 175, this and that. Okay, I'm going to make this as a construction element. There we go. Now we have the full sketch. I'm going to exit out. We have a hollow cylinder as we need it. Initially, I didn't saw that carefully. And now we also have, you have to go on well, on the right plane, click sketch. So in here, we have to design the other side, which we need to eliminate, which is going to be one. All right. So basically, yes. So it doesn't specify us with any angle, especially onto this one. So it's very limited. We needed a little more. A little bit more of dimensioning but unfortunately we don't have it so I'm just going to limit it to one and one each side so this is one and this is one as well I'm guessing all right well, this can be any dimension this is not that important so I'm going to delete this so one in that particular scenario so that I can get rid of the entire thing and I'm going to make it horizontal so that I can get rid of that particular phase. So in this case, this is slightly interesting for the fact that we don't have any angle. If you carefully observe it, we just have one inch as diameter. So I'm going to exit out. I'm simply going to go to extrude cut and go for the entire extrude cut. Reverse direction. And I'm, I will go through all both sides because I can. It looks something like this, all right. So it looks and resembles very closely. This is what we, we were looking for. We can reconfirm just to make sure if we have something else that might be missing. Because through whole, it looks very similar now, right? Yeah. So we don't have any material that is specified. If we want to evaluate, we can click on mass properties. If, I mean, cubic millimeters, it's 118. We were supposed to have around what?
one one five. So yeah, plus minus one to two percent is fine. It's not that big of a deal. So it's fairly close, and that's pretty much it. So this is how we design any simple part like this. Yeah, it was slightly confusing because of the dimension and the way it is drafted, but overall it was an easy part. So stay tuned for upcoming videos. Thank you so much for watching. Take it easy. Bye.